Oh, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. G'day, good afternoon. How you doing, everybody? DJ here down at Eastern Beach. Let me take these ridiculous sunglasses off. You might have seen them on Instagram. Um, I just wanted to share something with you today uh, down here at Eastern Beach in the morning, early on a Monday morning, starting off the week beautifully here. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to read to you from uh, one of my favorite passages in the Bible. If you know me, you might know that my favorite book in the Bible is the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 11, Hebrews 11 and 12 is just phenomenal. Uh, but I want to read you the first few verses out of Hebrews 11. Now, faith is assurance of things hoped for, proof of things not seen. For, for by this faith, the elders obtained testimony. By faith, we understand that the universe has been framed by the word of God, so that what is seen has not been made out of things which are visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he had testimony given to him that he was righteous. God testifying with respect to his gifts, and through it, he, being dead, still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he wouldn't see death and he was not found, because God translated him, for he has had testimony given to him that before his translation, he had been well-pleasing to God. This is it. This is the verse. Without faith, it is impossible to be well-pleasing to him. For he who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. For those who come to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those that please him. That's what I want to give you a challenge of today. That's to come to God this week, to be accepted by faith by him, you must first come to him and believe that he is. I know that sounds really, really basic, but I think if we really check our hearts and if we really look into what we really believe, sometimes, sometimes we don't believe. Or sometimes, worse than that, we come to God with our own expectations, with our own ideas and thoughts of what he is and what he must do and what he is like. I think sometimes we need to come to him and, and accept him for who he is. Believe him for who he is. Allow him to be whoever he wants to be in our life. It's hard. By faith, we need to accept what he sends our way. So whatever you're going through today, understand, or this week, understand that it's not out of his design. He's in control and you need to come to him and accept him for who he is. Uh, read Hebrews 11 and 12. You know, get into it, have a, have a look at it. And uh, the exciting stuff is we've got some great stuff pl planned this week. I'm going to be doing some live on Instagram and Facebook. Going to be doing some live videos again. I might even do some pre-recorded stuff like this. Uh, we've got some great announcements for you this week. Things are beginning to take shape in what's happening next for a good old DJ. And I'm so excited for you to be a part of it. So uh, thank you so much for everybody, for all your kind words, everyone who's been in contact with me, uh, everyone who's um, been so supportive. And uh, I just want to leave you with Hebrews 11 and 12. Do yourself a favor, in the words of Molly Meldrum, and get into it. <laughs> and and uh, let it challenge you in, in what you think about God. And I, and I promise you, you'll be, uh, you'll be lifted up and you'll be brought into a whole new relationship with him. All right, I'll see you this week. Stay in contact. DJ out.